Alrighty, everybody. Uh, well, good morning, and it's cast time once again. And I do have a fair amount I gotta cover, so I'll get right into the music. This is gonna be Dargun, or Dargoon. I don't know how you pronounce it, but Undiscovered Dungeons. It's Dungeon Synth um, 1. This just came out yesterday, so it's brand, it's brand spanking new. And 2, uh, this actually came from Brazil. So, yeah. Uh, looks like uh, the Brazilians are throwing their hat into the dungeon synth ring. So, so yeah, it's always it's always cool seeing uh, seeing this kind of music from places other than uh, other than Scandinavia, or you know, like Norway and all that. You know, just so. I think I'm, I think one time I played uh, I played dungeon synth from Russia. Last place I'd expect to have dungeon synth, but oh, and um. And I'm also having some uh, Arizona green tea as well, so just a moment. But uh, but here, let me let me get the music going here. Wind it back. Okay. Uh, and. There, there is going to be a few... There's going to be some moving parts in this. So just get ready for some mistakes. And I've already committed one. Let me... Clear that out. Let me clear that out. Okay. Okay. So, got that up and running. Um, but... Otherwise fairly busy night just you know I just had to do some grocery shopping and, and had, yeah it's it's kind of a big issue it's it's kind of a it's kind of a big thing because you know because you know got to get my blog done got to get it had to get it typed up and actually get it posted up as well so I mean the time uh, the time the times I blog are on uh, Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays so, but in between those days, I'm just basically writing down uh, rough drafts, a rough draft of my blog. But on the days when I actually post them up, I have to like, I have to put the finishing touches on them and stuff. And then, then got to actually post on Final Fantasy 14 on the Lodestone. And then after that, I got to, I got to write down something snazzy to say to, to post that blog on Twitter. So... So, and then getting that taken care of, and then got to get my grocery shopping taken care of. Um, I don't, I don't write shopping lists because I have a very bad memory. Um, even if I do remember to write something down when I'm actually at the store, or assuming I actually remember to bring the list with me, there's times I've forgotten to bring it with me. I'll write it down, I'll leave it on the kitchen counter, and pew, out the door I go. So I've done that. And for the times I actually remember to bring it with me, um, I'll oftentimes forget to grab forget to grab stuff that's on the list and for those times that I actually remember to bring a pen or a marker with me there's times that I either a I'll forget to cross stuff or no wait how to no I'll um I'll cross stuff off that list that I never actually got so I don't even bother writing a list so I basically grocery shop every day and sometimes I have to I have to go to more than one store um, Kind of like, kind of like what I did yesterday. I had to go to one Walmart to get bowls. They're, they have the best kind of bowl. They're like just the right size and stuff. Uh, but unfortunately, they didn't have it. So, and I still had to go. I had to go to another store to get, to get a veggie rice because they're the only. They're um. There's only three places around where I live that have them. One's the cheapest, or no, the cheapest one is uh, out of Target. That's like five five miles away but anyway I'm kind of digressing here going off the subject um like I said I have a fair amount I have to cover um to start with but after I got the grocery shopping I also had to do laundry I had to get all of that done before 10 p.m. so so busy night um but after that um but during that time um I did my usual gems of war um just did a little of everything this time a little bit of pvp um, just, I got a new class called the Plague Man, the Plague Lord, I think it's called. Um, just leveling him up, working on him, doing some of that, and then doing some of the higher tier, more challenging stuff, um, uh, doing that as well, so. 
And then on top of that, um, I actually had a hankering to check out a game called, um, uh, hold on. I knew I forgot to do something. There we go. Anyway, um, I, I started watching a game movie called Hatred. Um, I watched this, uh, some odd years ago, like once. Uh, didn't really think much of it. For those that don't know what Hatred is, it's a type of game where, uh, you literally, that, the, the whole goal of this game is you run around and kill people. No, I'm not a misanthropist or anything like that. No, I'm not a, not a sadist, not a, you know, not a 100% psychopath or anything like that. Just, but you know, it is, it, like the moon, I have my phases. And I just felt like watching some hatred at the time. You know, not because I'm pissed off at the world and I don't want to, you know, I want everyone to just drop dead. You know, you, you, you kind of get what I mean. I just wanted to watch a game, just wanted to watch a game where people, where somebody runs around and shoots people. I mean, that's it. So, but it isn't, it isn't like Grand Theft Auto, you know, where you, where there's lots to do. You can like, you can like, get into an SUV and just run around and run run people over and then stop at the local arcade and then play some video games you know it, it's not like that like 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 all you're doing is just running around and you're shooting people he's a little too pissed off at the world so he's going to take it on at everybody else so and then and then I kind of thought to myself you know what I haven't played Dwarf Romantic in a while. So, so I fired that game up. Um, I did a run of that. And runs in that game take a pretty long time. They're, they're, they, they, they take a while, especially if you um, if you know what you're doing. So I, I, think I'd, um, I think that run there lasted me about 15, 20 minutes. And for those that don't know, it's, um, oh, how can I put this? It's a uh, it's hex based Tetris, or you're you're matching you're matching territory tiles, but it, like I said, it's very hard to explain unless you've actually played it. But uh, like like I said, it's a fun game. I like it, but it the game the game drags on and on. Cause like I said, if you can if you can play pretty decent at it, you can last a pretty long time. You start with like 50 tiles, and then whenever you, whenever you, whenever you get certain achievements in that game, you'll get more tiles. So, so if you keep up the good work, you'll keep getting awarded tiles. And like I said, you can play for a pretty long time. So it's one of the reasons why I don't play it that often. But take it a drink. So, so yeah, um, uh, but then, um, on top of that, at some, at some point, you know, at some point, um, I had a kind of a, a bit of an epiphany too. Uh, for those that don't know, I'd say probably a week or two ago, I got a book called The Communist Manifesto. I'm not a communist or anything like that. Um... If, I mean, hell, these days, if anything, I'm more of an a more of an anarchist than anything. So, but anyway, um, you know, I, I just, I wanted to find out what communism really is, and not, and not what the media tells me or, or what I learned from Anne Rand. Like, she's a philosopher. She was born and raised in Russia, and um, she had not, and she, very, very critical of her home country. I mean. On one end, I believe her, but on the other hand, I, you know, I kind of want to find, I kind of want to find out for myself what it, what it's all about, you know, so, you know, and, and now that I think about it, too, you would think that in this day and age with how fucked up this country is, you would have, I would have thought that there would have been a lot of people out there, you know, I mean, what, communism? <laughs> Anything's better than the shit all we got now, you know, or, Oh man, I take a little bit of anarchy too. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean that kind of thing. So, 
but um, I it just occurred to me that I'm I have just now finished chapter one. And I'm just now starting chapter two, so you know I hardly got anywhere. But um, one the book was written in 1848, I think. So we're talking at least 150 years ago. So they kind of they kind of write and speak and talk differently back then. So a lot of it, a lot of it too, is really it's kind of a hard read. So it, it really took me took me a while. Plus, but uh, one thing, one thing uh, that I kind of thought about too, because again the book was written back in the 1800s, the mid 1800s, and um, the the terminology they use. Is different yet the same. Whereas these days we say the middle class, upper class, lower class. Back then, um, and I are and I already forgot the names of it. <sighs> Hang on, my brain farted. Rick I gotta look it up. I'll be back. What the fuck? It's official. You suck. It's it's called the Bur the Burgoys and the um not populist. That word was mentioned maybe one time. Proletariat. That's it. But like like I like I said they. Like I said, this book uses totally different terminology that I'm not familiar with at all. So, and like I, like I said, it's kind of a hard read. Uh, but yeah, um, but the term, but, um, Burgoyce and Proletariat. So, it kind of occurred to me, this, I mean, this class struggle's been going on for a long time. I mean, this ain't just some, this ain't just some recent phenomenon or... This isn't, this isn't just something that happened. No, wait. No, wait, we became America in 1776, okay. But basically, this class struggle's been going on for a very, very long time, not... So, but it, it all, it kind of occurred, but because this kind of thing has been going on for so long, this... And yeah, I forgot to I forgot to say earlier. I'm sorry that I'm about to get a little political here. So, brain farted. But yeah, it. So it seems that uh, I pretty much have the same opinion about class struggle that I do about bullying. I mean, bullying is an age-old problem. Like it goes way, way, way back. You know, it's pretty much ingrained in the DNA. Everybody, even the most purest and virtuous of, you know, of all, they, they, you know, they bullied somebody at least once in their lives. They, you know, everybody's done it. Like I said, it's practically ingrained in the DNA. So, when I, when I, when I mentioned it, I, you know, I mentioned that, you know, you can't just sit here and, you can't just establish an, a no bully zone in some hallway in an elementary school and somehow think that it's just going to stop complete. It's going to stop just like that. No, it don't work that way. You don't, you can't just go on Twitter and say, stop bullying now and somehow expect bullying to just suddenly stop just like that. It doesn't work that way. I think class, I mean, class struggles, like again, from what I've read of this, it, you're going to, you can't just, you can't just elect, elect Bernie Sanders as president and then uh, somehow, you know, all of a sudden, everything, the ship's just going to right itself and we're all going to live happily ever after. No, no, that's just, uh, that's just a small part. I mean, you know, this, basically, this country is like a Ford Pinnell. You're going to have, it's going to take a lot of work to fix this. You know, a car so defective that 
or I, I don't I don't want to go into too much detail on the um on a pork panel, but basically, that's to me that's what this country is. You, so many things wrong with it. You can't just you can't just elect us, put a socialist in office, and somehow expect everything to just suddenly get better. And, you know, the one you know the one cure to rule them all. But you kind of get the idea. Too many broken moving moving parts, but. This is kind of the little epiphany I had when I was reading this book. You know, this shit's been going on way too long to just, you know, go on Twitter and say, socialism now. No, it doesn't work that way. I mean, again, I'm not a socialist, you know, and I, if anything, I, I hear the word anarcho-capitalist, but it just, they seem kind of, it seems kind of contradictory. I mean, but anyway, you know. But uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm, yeah, and I'm, yeah, I pretty much kind of lost my uh, my uh, train of thought. I think this is probably going to be something that I I probably have to do in a totally another video. But like like I said, I was just trying to get out the little epiphany I had when I was reading this book. It just. There's far too many wrong. There's far too many things wrong with this country, and possibly, and by I guess by extension, the rest of the planet as well. That just simply electing Andrew Yang to office is suddenly all you know. It's just going to be the only thing you need to set everything everything right again. No, there's a lot of other th things that we need to take care of as well. But anyway, I think what I'm trying to get at matter for it's a matter for another time so <coughs> all right taking a drink but yeah like I said pretty busy and goofy night tonight or night and this morning so Oh, damn, man. This is timed almost perfectly, too. This is just a short album. It was already going to end in about a minute or so. Okay. Um, but uh, otherwise, yeah, quote-unquote only 17 minutes, so I figured, be, I figured this would have gone on a lot longer, but nope. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here, then. I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so I'll just go ahead and call it good. Um, but uh, as always, I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to check me out and give me a listen. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll always appreciate it. Um, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, um, which will be my last one for the week. So, but until then, though, I'll see you all next time, and bye for now. <laughs>